I love the scriptures. I love reading the Word of God and taking the stories and putting myself in them and think, what is this teaching me right now in my life? And I absolutely, I love how they've been saved for centuries. And there's a reason for that, right? So um, on Sunday, the uh, wonderful Craig Sorensen was, was giving this analogy and I loved it so much because it was just exactly what I needed to hear. Um, in 2 Kings, um, there's a story about Naaman and he's a soldier. And you can go read the whole story if you want, but he's a soldier, a very pretty, I guess, high up one or something, but he has leprosy. And um, they, you know, he heard that if he goes to, um, if he goes to the prophet, well, there's other stuff, but it goes to the prophet Elisha that he will get, um, he will be healed. And he goes to him and first of all, Elisha doesn't come out. He sends a servant out and there's, there's parallels to that, right? The servant tells him what to do and he's going, wait a second, you can't come out here and talk. I've traveled all this way and you're not going to come talk to me. There's stuff with that too. Anyways, but what I love or what I needed to hear was how he, um, you know, he was told to wash seven times. Um, in the Jordan and he said oh my goodness this isn't even clean we have better you know water than this and so first he thought there's no way you know he thought he knew better like this water isn't clean this doesn't make sense you know I know I would be thinking like I'll probably get something from that than me being clean like I'll end up with some weird disease or something or leeches or who knows what anyways and then um so there's there's some wisdom in that. But what I learned was sometimes God may ask you to do something. A, it doesn't make logical sense. But B, it takes a lot of faith. And then C, it takes a while. And what I mean by it takes a while was he had to go down and come up seven times. And it wasn't like he went down and came up the first time and he could start seeing the changes. No, he went down and came up and there was no change. And he goes and does it a second time. No change. Third, fourth, fifth, six times. And there was no change. Finally, on the seventh, he came up and he was clean. And it doesn't make logical sense. But it worked. So how many times in our lives does God ask us to do something? And we try. And it doesn't make sense or it doesn't work. And then we try again. And again. There are so many times in my life that I just want the answer to happen. You know, I want either a situation to be solved or my prayers to be answered right away. And it takes a while. And he just takes faith. It takes faith in that God's ways are not man's ways. They never have been. They never will be. And that uh, you have faith that with God, nothing is impossible. So you have God's ways are not man's ways. With God, nothing is impossible. But the third and final is, is what is the will of God? And having all of those come together, then it still takes time. And that is hard. That is hard when you're in the thick That is of things. It's hard when, when you just are pleading for an answer. But as all these great stories in the scriptures show us, he is aware of us, each and every one of us. 
and his arm is always stretched out still, wanting to help us. I hope this has helped you like it helped me. You can go read this story in 2 Kings chapter 5. And see how, how God is there to help you. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching or listening to my podcast. You can find more podcast or videos at perfectlypattytalks.com or you can search me up on Facebook or Instagram at Perfectly Patty. Thanks again.